Hey guys, in this video, you're going to learn the secret to creating much better glow effects in Photoshop. Okay, so you may or may not know that you can easily apply glow effects to objects from the blending options menu. The problem is that outer glow doesn't always give the best result, well, at least on its own. So by the end of this video, you will not only be creating much, much better glow effects via the blending options menu, I suddenly went PlayStation 1 hands then. You remember when the fingers didn't move in games? Where the hell was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah. But you'll be able to take this glow effect you've created and instantly apply this to another object, which saves you going through the entire creation process all over again, because who wants to do that? Not me. So hopefully that sounds good. Let's get started. Rightio, first let's open up Photoshop. That's always a good start. We'll go to File, down to New. We'll set the width and height of the document to a thousand pixels. Make sure you're in RGB color mode and set the background to black. Click Create. And then from the color picker, we're going to select White all the way in the top left corner. Next, select the Ellipse tool and click and hold Shift to draw a perfect circle. Open up the Properties panel and we'll just make this a little bit larger. And we're going to turn off the stroke that is created by default on this shape. And next we're going to right click the ellipse and select blending options. From here you can check the outer glow option and click on this panel and increase the opacity. You can also select a color from the color picker. And once you've found a color you're happy with, select these six digits. This is the hex value that refers to this color and press command or control C to copy this to the clipboard. Next, click OK, and now you can adjust the spread and size of your glow. You'll notice that we're using the technique softer, and we can switch over to precise for a harder edge to our glow. And whilst both of these techniques are useful and give slightly different results, there's definitely more we can do to create a better outer glow. OK, so from the menu on the left, we're now going to check and select drop shadow. And from the color picker, we're going to use command or control V to paste in that six digit color reference and then click OK, increase the opacity and change the blend mode to screen. Now there's a number of other options like distance and angle that we can play around with, but because this glow is coming out from the center, the only two we need to use are spread and size. And if I turn off the outer glow, you can see we're using drop shadow essentially as another outer glow effect. And I'm adjusting the settings. So one of these is a larger, softer glow and the other is a smaller, more hard edged glow. Now Photoshop does enable us to add another drop shadow and it will copy those same settings as the last one. And I'm going to use this to create sort of an intermediary between the two. And now I'm just going back and forth between all three of these effects and adjusting the opacity, the spread and the size just so that my glow is a bit more staggered. And if I turn these effects off and back on, you can see how each of them contribute to the overall glow effect. Lastly, I can select the blending options tab and I can bring the fill opacity down as well. That will hide the color of the shape, leaving just the glow. And you can also adjust this setting from the top of the layers panel. Okay, so now we've created our glow effect, we're going to take this and apply this to another object and it's really easy to do. So to copy this effect, simply right click on the layer and go to copy layer style. We're going to hide this now and then you can create a new shape or you can add some text. So I'm going to add some text, set the color to white, scale this up nice and big and just pop it in the center. Now that's done, I can simply right click this layer and go paste layer style. And you can see all of these effects are now applied to this layer as well. And if you'd like to go to the absolute extreme, well, there's always this. <laughs> okay, scale the circle down, duplicate, scale it up, duplicate, scale it up, duplicate everything. Scale it down, duplicate again, scale it down. Change the blending mode to screen. Continue to duplicate here and here over here and also here. Now you've gone completely insane, select the crop tool. You can now crop into this madness for a nice abstract pattern. You're welcome. And that wraps up today's video. So hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, well, you can smash or gently press the old subscribe button, ding the bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded because apparently subscribing isn't enough anymore. But anyway, take care and I'll see you next time.